So this video introduces the uh, Champ Topper Tools cross-section feature. Uh, this is a tool for laying out temporary cross-sections that are helpful for validating uh, the centerline. So you can launch this tool from the bottom of the Topper Processing menu. Uh, you need to complete st the steps in the workflow before running this tool. Um, and when you actually click it, a form pops up that allows you to choose your water extent polygon, centerline, and a DM. If in a previous session you've uh, used these uh, different data sets, these will auto populate for you. They haven't for me, so I'm going to just go out here and just click those. And so uh, you need to choose your water extent polygon, the centerline you've generated, and the topo DEM. And as the message at the bottom explains here, the tool um, is going to create temporary cross-sections. These are not part of the published data that gets uploaded into champmonitoring.org. Um, these are just temporary for the purposes of validating the centerline. So what you're going to see is you're going to get um, cross-sections output that will highlight uh, problems with the centerline and or even the water extent polygon and you're going to want to go back re-edit that water extent polygon or centerline and then re regenerate these cross-sections. One other thing to mention is that these cross-sections are produced at the end of the centerline tool uh, by default and that this uh, tool, the cross-sections tool, is just a uh, separate feature that you can run after you've edited your centerline to regenerate uh, these cross sections to see if your edits have improved the situation. So this tool does take a few minutes, I'm just going to pause the video here while it completes. Okay so the tool has completed and I've got my cross sections added to the map here and I will uh, just zoom in here to explain a couple of things. So what I'm looking for is cross sections that span the channel they will always be perpendicular to the center line, and you'll notice that as the center line kinks, uh, the orientation of these lines follow that center line. Um, a couple of things to look out for. If you have uh, erroneous kinks in your center line, then these cross sections will actually go up and down the channel uh, parallel to the direction of flow, and that's what we don't want. So you'll want to go in, edit your center line, and actually straighten out those kinks so that you get a better, more regular cross sections. Things like this are actually okay. This is a legitimate kink in the center line as it moves around this island. And so these center lines aren't uh, perpendicular to the channel. They kind of span it. Um, that's okay. It's also okay in these situations where the cross sections uh, span into the backwater here. Um, after all, this backwater is considered a wider part of the channel. And uh, when we upload this onto the chantmonitoring.org, these wider sections will skew the overall average width of the channel, which is kind of what we want to, as a kind of aggregate way of capturing these uh, backwaters. So that's okay. Um, as we're looking at these islands here, the center line will meander around any dry patches in the channel. So you want to validate that each of these little donuts are in fact dry, uh, dry patches at time of survey. If you get little donuts uh, that you don't trust, you can edit the water extent polygon delete those vertices to remove the donut, save it, regenerate the center line, and then regenerate cross sections to see um, what the updated alignment of the center line looks like. Okay, so just to say that again, um, validate all your donuts in the water extent polygon, these little uh, dry areas, and uh, remove any that you uh, were not dry at the time of survey, and that will help you uh, straighten out your center line. A couple of other things to look out for. Uh, at the ends of the channel, you'll want to look at the uh, alignment of the center line. Uh, you might see some kinks as the center line leaves at the end of the reach, not, not perhaps in the center of the channel. You can straighten those up and uh, generate the cross sections, and uh, they'll, they'll kind of highlight for you the orientation of the center line. So you should be working in a kind of iterative loop as you um, test your water extent polygon. That will affect the alignment of the center line, and the alignment of the center line will then affect the alignment of the cross sections. Okay, so that's the Champ Topper Processing uh, cross section tool.